Good afternoon, Wilmington residents. Welcome to today's girls hockey game between your Wilmington Wildcats and the Brookline Warriors. Wilmington enters the game with a record of 2-3-1, and one, coming off a win yesterday against Ursuline, where they beat Ursuline 6-1. Leah Kirkudas scored twice and it had one assist. Brookline enters the game 2-3. and three. Their most recent win came on the 22nd against Lemonster. This is Wilmington's home opener for the season. They have played all six games on the road and are looking to be at an even 500 record. My name is Sean Gandhi. I will be doing play-by-play -play for today's game. The captains for Wilmington are number two, Leah Karkudas, and number 17, Jocelyn Palmer. For Brookline, the captains, number four, Willa Francis. Number 13, Casey Ferrigno. Number 22, Ali Carew Lyons. And number 31, Daphne Francis. In goal for the Wildcats is number 30, Melanie Hayden. The only goalie on the Wildcats roster. Burlington, Burlington excuse me. Brookline's two goalies are number one, Caroline Davis, and number 31. Daphne Francis. Wilmington had lost three straight until yesterday. They lost to Bishop Fenwick, Essex Tech, three to one, three to one. They lost to Reading, seven to one, and they lost to Melrose, three to one. Their season opening win came in Woburn and they won that game three to one. Then they tied Belmont on the 15th. Brookline had a season opening win against Marcus Vineyard. They won that game three to one on December 8th. Then they lost three straight, being outscored 17 to two over three games. They lost to Needham, they lost at Needham five to one, and they lost at home versus Braintree six nothing and Natick six to one. Their last game, of course, came against Lem came in Lemonster, which they won. Wilmington and Brookline have met have not met in over ten years. And Wilmington looks to win against Brookline for the first time in a long time. There are four freshmen on the Wildcats roster. Number six, Kylie Flynn. Number 15, Sophia Brunetto. Number 20, Gabriella Daniels. And number 23, Caitlin Halley. And on Brookline, there are three freshmen. Number 14, Kellen McNamara. Number 19, Olivia Boyd. And number 44, Caroline Driscoll. We'll be back with Puck Drop after this. WCTV's coverage of Wildcats sports this winter season is sponsored by Analog Devices, proudly supporting the Wilmington community for over 40 years. Head coach for Brookline is Nick Sama, and the Wil head coach for Wildcats is John LaPiana. Starting goal for the Brookline Warriors is number 31, Excuse me, number one, Caroline Davis. Starting lineups for the Wildcats. Number two, Leah Kokudas. Number 12, Ida Bishop. Number 16, Gina Bertolami. Number 17, Jocelyn Palmer. And number 25, Bridget O'Shea. For the Warriors, number four, Willa. Excuse me, number eight, Gabby Boyd. Gabby Boyd. Number nine, Plummy Hawkins. Number 10, Josie Luby. Number 17, Nina Luby. And number 19, Olivia Boyd. 
Olivia Boyd will be taking a face off against number two, Leah Karkudas. And the puck is down and the game is on. Wildcats win. The puck drop. Brookline has it at center ice. Passes it into the Wildcats zone. Number 17, Jocelyn Palmer. Pass it forward into neutral zone. Wildcats have it. Leah Kahudas shoots it on goal. Puck was stopped and the puck is now back out at center ice. Brookline has it. One on one. Number 19, Olivia Boyd had her shot blocked by Melanie Hayden. Number six, Cassie Terranova had the puck at center ice. She passed it in and it was taken down number 17, Jocelyn Palmer, who passed it forward. Number 22, 23, excuse me. No, number 20, Gabriella Daniels. Brookline has it at center ice. And it's a Wildcat zone. Number three, Molly Foley hits it out down the ice. 22, Carter Lyons battles. Number 20, Gabriella Daniels. At center ice. Not anymore. Wilmington has it in their zone. Number 17, Palmer. Passed it forward to center ice for Brookline took over. Number seven, Anna Driscoll. Shoot, shot it down to ice to Wildcat zone. Number three, Molly Foley took control and passed it forward. Number 17, Josh Palmer, but the pass was intercepted by Brookline. Number 17, Nina Luby, passed it to number 13, Casey Ferrigno. And now the Wildcats have it. Number 20, Gabriella Daniels, shot it down ice, wide of the net, and a battle for possession it took place in the fourth corner. Wildcats in the midst of a change. Number 16, Drina Bertolami coming off ice. And the puck went out of play. Excuse me, into the goalie. Krakutas in for the faceoff in the Wildcats. Brookline won the puck drop. And up ice they come. Number one, Caroline. Nope. Wildcats have the puck. Two on one. Kirkuda's shot was defended and blocked by the goalie, Caroline Davis. Changes being made on the ice. Into the game for the Wildcats, number three, Molly Foley. Brookline won the face off. That center is number nine, Maria Han Hernandez had the puck stolen from her by Brookline. Leah Kakudas gets it into the Brookline zone. But off the ice, they come. Number six, Terranova. Passed it back to number four, who shot it back to her, but she missed it. And number 12, Candace Gardner had her shot blocked. Now she passed it to number seven, Anna Driscoll, and she lost control of the puck. And up ice comes number 12, Ida Bishop. Her shot was blocked. Along the boards, it's number four. Willow Francis at center ice. Wildcats have the puck. Number 10, Payne Fuller got in to block the puck from getting shot down ice. Number 18, Zodi Rose along, passed it along the boards, across the ice. Now Brookline has the puck along the boards. But at center ice, Wildcats have it, number six. 
Kylie Flynn. And just coming onto the ice with number 13, Casey Frigno, to take the puck. But she couldn't handle it. And now the Wildcats make another change. Number 20, Gabriella Daniels. Pass back to number 17, Jocelyn Palmer and Hershaw was gloved down by Davis. Ten sixteen left in the first. Leo Kakudis back in on the face off. Brookline wins, but Wildcats have it. Number twelve, Ida Bishop. Battled for the puck. And now the puck gets away from Peyton Fuller. Melanie Hayden, though, is able to defend the puck and keep it from going in the net. Kirkudas, number 18, Misha. No candy. Take the face off. Kirkudas pass it forward. It's number 12, Ida Bishop, but her. Now she has control of the puck and along the boards. At center ice, Bishop loses control of the puck, and the Wildcats now take over. Kirkudas gets it down ice and is now heading towards the bench for a change. Brookline has it. Pass it forward, down ice, and no icing. Number 18, Zoe DeRose, had the puck before it was taken from her. And now 25, Bridget O'Shea, pass it along the boards where it was intercepted by Brookline. Number 17, Nina Luby had her shot knocked down. And now the Wildcats come up with it. Number 20, Gabriella Daniels pass it forward to number 18, Zoda Rose. Rose had the puck pass it forward. Number three, Molly Foley, Foley slap shot. Off the stick of number 10. Payton Fuller. And good defense for number eight, number nine, Maria Hernandez. Getting the puck down ice. Where number 20, Gabrielle Daniels had her shot. Glove down. Brookline wins the face off. And that's center ice. Number 14, Kellen McNamara passed it forward to number three, Madison Brandle. Number 13, Casey Frigno shot. Was blocked by the stick of a Wildcat defender. Good chance by number 13, Casey Frigno would get a, the puck on net when it went just wide. Now battle for the puck near the Zamboni doors. Wildcats come up with it. Number 21, Amanda Mercier. Passed it along the boards. And now number two, Kokudas. Raced down the ice to get the puck. But number 22, Ali Carew Lions. Came up with it. Brookline has it. And crossing the blue line. Now crossing center ice is number 14, Kellen McNamara. Brookline, number 10, Jose Luby. Shot the puck down ice. Now number 9, Clummy Hawkins gets it back to number 6. Cass Cassie Terranova and her shot just wide. Now number 10, Payne Fuller, comes up with the puck for the Wildcats. 
that center ice. Keeps going. Her shot just wide of the net. Now 17, Jocelyn Palmer battles for the puck. It's two Brooklyn defenders. Bridget O'Shea at her pass, knocked down by the stick at number 18. Michelle Kenyi. And another battle for the puck. Number 17, Nina Luby had the puck for the Brookline Warriors. And now it's center ice. Now the Wildcats have it. Jocelyn Palmer coming up ice, across the blue line. She lost the puck, and Brookline has it. Racing down the ice was number seven. Donna Driscoll and her shot is knocked away by the stick of Wildcat defender. Wildcats have it. They still have it. Jocelyn Palmer gets it to the other side of the neutral zone where Brookline took over and then took a shot down ice. Mishandling of the puck by Brookline. Number six, Cassie Terranova had a good shot and it was knocked away. Now the Wildcats have it at center ice. Number two, Leah Kerkudis had the puck knocked away from her. And now number seven, Anna Driscoll had a shot get knocked down by Melanie Hayden. 4.51 remaining in the first intermission. First period, 4.51 until the first intermission. And on the faceoff for Wildcats, it's number 21. No, it was number 20, Gabrielle Daniels. Brookline has the puck. Terranova shot was knocked down, and now the Wildcats have it at center ice. Number 10, Payne Fuller, along the boards. Battling with the puck, gets free, so does the puck, and Brookline comes up with it. And down the ice, somebody sent the puck, and icing is called. Brookline wins the face off. And the Wildcats come up with it. Again, Brookline comes down with the puck. And now changes are being made on the ice. Kirkwood is back on the ice for the Wildcats, taking the face off. Brookline comes up with it and along the boards. Here's Bell for the puck, but now it's center ice. Brookline still has it. Number nine, Plummy Hawkins had her pass knocked down. Number 25, Bridger Chase. Shot was also knocked down. Brookline comes back up with it. Across the blue line, it's number nine, Plummy Hawkins. And number six, Cassie Taranova couldn't handle the puck. Now the Wildcats have it. And the whistle is blown. And it was a stoppage of play. That was number 23, Caitlin Hawley, in on the faceoff for the Wildcats. Wildcats now have the puck. Number 18, Zoda Rose, falls down trying to get the puck. And now behind the goalie, number three, Molly Foley. And Brookline, Brookline's shot was knocked down by number 18, Zoda Rose. And now behind the hat, number nine, Maria Hernandez, had the puck taken from her by Brookline defender. 
Number 22, Ellie Crew lines shot just wide. Again, the shot just wide again. Brookline still has it. Number four, Lilla Francis passes the puck to the Wilmington defender. And the Wildcats come back up with it. Brookline now takes over. Number six, Castle Terranova pass it back to number 20, 12, Candace Gardner. But behind the net, Wildcats have it. Number nine, Maria Hernandez, Maria Hernandez had her shot blocked. And now number 17, Nina Luby. Pass it forward for number three, Madison Brandle, who falls down and knocks down the Wildcat defender. Now battle for the puck in the corner. Number 12, Ida Bishop gets the puck down ice where Brookline recovers it. Up ice comes number eight, Gabby Boyd. Pass it back to number 17, Nina Luby, and her shot was knocked down. Brookline still has it. Number 14, Kellen McNamara comes up with it. Now the Wildcats had the puck. And behind the net. Number 20, number 20, Gabriella Daniels came down with the puck. Again, battle for the puck and a broke book line player falls down. Now along the boards, number six, Cassie Terranova. Tried to pass it back. Number seven, Anna Driscoll. But the puck got away from her. Cassie sh Terranova shot. It's knocked down. Brookline still has the puck in front of Melanie Hayden. And can't get any pucks on net. They're all going wide. 20 seconds remain in the first. Wildcats trying to get the puck out of their zone. Melanie Hayden blocks the shot of number 22, Allie Crew Lines. 11 seconds remain in the first. Brookline coming out strong offensively. And the faceoff will be in the Wildcat zone. Brookline comes up with it. Now a battle near the Zamboni doors. But the horn sounds ending the first intermission. Ending the first period. First intermission, Wildcat zero, Warrior zero. We'll be right back. I'm Jocelyn Palmer. I'm Leah Kakutis. Uh, we're the girls' varsity ice hockey captains, and this season we're looking forward to. Uh, we've lost a couple of good players last year, our seniors, but we're looking forward to uh, showing everyone how y a young team can still be very well uh, balanced and play well together. Um, we're going to work hard this season. We plan on winning a lot of games, and hopefully, all of our goals will be set and met at the end of the season. And yeah, looking forward to it. Welcome back to today's game between the Wilmington Wildcats and the Brookline Warriors. Start of the second, game is tied 0-0. Brookline offensively has taken over this game and what Wilmington, however, has been able to match up defensively against them. Multiple opportunities for Brookline to score However, the shots have just not been on net. Start of the second as the team switch sides. Wilmington going left to right. Brooklyn now going right to left. 
taking the face off for the Wildcats. We have Krakutis. And for Brookline, number 14, Kellen McNamara. Momentum with the face off. Number three, Molly Foley. Hits it along the boards. Yet Brookline is keeping them in check. Now the Wilmington, now Wildcats get it out. Ida Bishop in number four. Willow Francis chase down the ice for the puck. Wilmington still has it in the Brookline zone. But Brookline now gets it out. Via Kakutas, pass it across ice. Number three, Molly Foley, who shoots it up ice into Brookline zone. But Brookline recovers. And now Wildcats have a Kakutas shot. Pad save by Davis. Kakutas gets it along the board to the other side where Brookline comes up with it. And now the Wildcats at. But Justin Palmer had it stolen away from her by Brookline, number four, Willa Francis. She tries to pass it across ice, but it was knocked down by the Wildcats. And now along the boards, Ida Bishop defending number six, Cassie Terranova, who shot it along the boards. And now up ice comes Kakutas, who tried to get it across the blue line, but could not. And now Bur Brookline has it. Number 19. Olivia Boyd was in on that shot. Love saved by Hayden. 13-27 left to play. <laughs> Taking the face off for Wildcats number 20, Gabriella Daniels. Who then falls into the boards. It was in defending number 22, Ellie Carew Lyons. And Carew Lyons had her shot knocked down by the leg of number 10, Payne Fuller. Lyons across sites, number six, cast turned over, could not handle the puck. Now the Wildcats have it in the Brookline zone. Payne Fuller had the puck stolen from her. But now at center ice, Bridget O'Shea tries to shoot it up ice, but it was knocked down by a Brookline defender. And now number 19 out, Olivia Boyd shoots it up ice. But icing is called. Back in the Brookline zone, Kakutas taking the face off for the Wildcats. Brookline comes up with it. However, Wilmot now has the puck, and Kirkutis race for the puck. She cannot handle it. Wilmington still has it, number 16. Gina Bertolami shoots it up ice behind the goalie, and Brookline recovers. Number 17, or number 14. Now number 13, Casey Ferrigno carries the puck across the blue line. Her shot was with a pad save by Melanie Hayden. Wildcats get the puck. Now behind the net, number six, Kylie Flynn shoots it along the boards. And again, Flynn with the shot along the boards, trying to get the puck out of their zone. Brookline coming out strong again here in the second. Number eight. Number eight, Gabby Boyd. Her shot went wide of the net. Now the Wildcats come up with it. Trying to get it out of the zone. They could not. Three attempts. And now in front of the net, number 21, Amanda Mercier, gets the puck away. But Brookline still looking for a shot. All going wide. Now Wildcats come up with it. And finally, at center ice, Kakutas carries it across the blue line into the Brookline zone, looking to get some space for a shot. 
Now Brookline is able to get it out of the zone. Down ice comes number four. Willow Francis and number 12. Candace Gardner, her shot was knocked down. And in front of the net, Hayden makes a save. And the Wildcats now come up with it. Ooh, big hit from number 12, Ida Bishop, who is now off to the bench, the penalty box. Big hit on number 22, Allie Crew Lines. So Brookline, unfortunately, going on the power play, looking to take the lead. In on the face off with number 10, Peyton Fuller. Pedal for the puck. Number 13, Casey Ferrigno goes down. Now the Wildcats come up with it and try to clear it. But number six, Cassie Terranova was there to keep the puck in play. Frigid O'Shea shoots it to the corner. Where she recovers. Tries to take control of the puck. Brooklyn comes up with it. Cassie Terranova slap shot wide of the net. Now Crew Lions tries to get a pass off. Crew Lions to Terranova, back to Lions. Her shot, glove save by Hayden. Hayden with two good saves from the net, now around the net. And there's a stop to the play. The goal came off the Priest. John Mackley stops the game. Caroline Davis tried to get off the ice for Brookline, trying to get an extra player on. Because in the box for the Wildcats is now number 21, Amanda Mercier. So five on three for the next minute 10. Wildcats already struggling to get offense on the puck. Shoot it down ice. Trying to kill time on this five on three. Up the ice comes Brookline. Along the boards, number seven, Anna Driscoll. Battles for the puck. And now number eight, Gabby Boyd. Pass it back to Willa Francis. Francis wrist shot. It's knocked down by number two, Leah Kukudis. Her second shot, wide of the net. Ball catch from up there and pass it down ice. And this will be waved off. Number seven, Anna Driscoll races up the ice. Across the blue line into the ball catch zone. Hayden cannot control the puck. And down the ice they go. Ending Bishop's penalty. Now it's five on four. McLean shoots it up ice. But number three, Molly Foley shoots it out of play. Behind the Wildcats bench. Kud is taking the face off. It's 40 seconds left on Mercier's penalty. Alley Crew lines across the blue line. Her shot was knocked down, but number 12 Heidi Bishop. Now Terranova. Her pass to number 19. Olivia Boyd is just wide. Now Bal for the puck in the corner. Palmer and Bishop. Bal for the puck. Now Crew lines pass it back to Boyd. And Palmer gets it on the defense. Another battle for the puck behind the net. Three Brookline players and two Wilmington players all in in the scrum. Now to get it out and Foley shoots it up ice. The Brookline player falls down, so Wilmington gets called for the icing. Even though similar shots like that 
have been waved off. Kirkudas is clearly upset with the referee. He's getting back up the ice. And on the faceoff for the Wildcats, number 23, Caitlin Hawley. Behind the net, Brookline. Tries to get a shot off. But Hayden's there to defend it and to stop it in play. 7-21, remain in the second. Game still tied at zero. Hawley back in on the faceoff, wins it. Gets it back to Foley, who passes it along the boards. Looking for number... 10. Payne Fuller. Now Foley tries to get it out of the zone. Love down by Payne Fuller. And with the puck still in the Wildcat zone, they finally get it out. Down the ice goes Payne Fuller after the puck, only to be taken away by the Brookline player. Now in the corner, Maria Hernandez is shot. It's knocked down by number four, Willow Francis. In the corner, number 18, Zoda Rose. Tries to get in front of the goal, but lost control of the puck. And now it's center ice. Number four, Willa Francis passed it. Tries to pass it forward. Could not. Puck with intercepted by number three, Molly Foley. Foley tries to shoot it on net. Goes wide, and Brooklyn comes back up with it. Number seven, number 12, Candace Gardner. Passes it across the ice to number seven. Anna Driscoll and her shot just wide. Now number eight, Gabby Boyd. Pass it across back back to number twelve, Candace Gardner. And a bow for the puck in the corner. Six minutes remain in the second. Melanie Hayden makes the save in front of the net. And the change for the Wildcats. Kudas taking the face off for the Wildcats, wins it. Number 12, Ida Bishop tried to take the puck up ice but could not. So Brookline has the puck in front, in front of the net. Brookline lost control. Three on one. Brookline, however, takes the puck back. And back in the neutral zone, O'Shea passes it across ice to Palmer. Palmer can't find the puck. And now a delayed penalty will be called against number nine, Plummy Hawkins, who took down number 17, Jocelyn Palmer. And whistle is blown. And the Wildcats will go on the power play. There's 503 left in the second. Columbia Hawkins goes into the box. So Wilmington on the power play. Looking to take control of this game. It has been offensively won by Brookline. Wildcats win. Gina Bertolami gets it behind the net. Cross ice, and the puck is now sent down ice by Brookline. Molly Foley will get there. Looks for the Wildcats to set up. Now Foley pass it to Kukurtis. But at center ice, Brookline comes back up with it. Justin Palmer. Had control of the puck for a second, but it was taken away by number four, Willow Francis. And the puck is sent back down the ice by Brookline. Foley. Goes behind the net, pass it back to Palmer. Palmer along the boards. Pass it center ice for number 20, Daniel. Gabrielle Daniels. Now, now it's center ice, Brookline comes up with it. 
Trying to make it. Brooklyn shot was bluffed away by Hayden. Now the Wildcats have it, number 12. Ida Bishop had the puck. Bishop again with the puck. Tries to get a shot off, but it was deflected into the air. And down with it. It's number 10, 16. Wilmington had a good chance on the goal. Now whistle's blown. Three twenty one left. I had a bishop going back to the box. Second time this period. So we will play four and four hockey for 18 seconds. Wildcats losing a good chance to take the lead in this game. Brookline shoots it down ice. Hayden gives it to Bridget O'Shea. O'Shea to Palmer. And bow for the puck between Palmer and Brookline. Palmer comes up with it. At center ice, passes it across ice. Number 18, Zoda Rose. Now Palmer shoots into the knocked over Brooklyn defender. Now the Wildcats come up with it. Number 18, Zoda Rose. Lost control of the puck. Brooklyn came up with it. And now number 13, Cassie, Casey Frigno. Her shot on goal was gloved down by Hayden. Number 18, Zoda Rose. It's off the boards into the waiting stick of the Brooklyn defender. But now it's center ice. And a penalty was called against Brookline. Payton Fuller enters Brookline zone. Shoots it on net, looking for a deflection. Now Maria Hernandez's shot was gloved down by Davis. Kirkudis takes the face off. Brookline had the puck for a second. Now they come up with it. Cross center ice goes number someone. And her shot was just wide off the back, off the boards. And then number 22, Ellie Crew lines. Her shot was wide. Now battle for the puck. Brookline comes up with it. Crew Lions shoots it. Just misses the net. Brookline still has the puck. Wilmington trying to get it out, cannot. O'Shea gets the puck away from number seven. On a Driscoll. Now Kakudas comes up with it. And at center ice, enters the Brookline zone. Tries to get the puck. Away. But Brookline takes it. And Wilmington keeps it in the Brookline zone. 40 seconds remain in the second. And Brookline now gets it out. Bridget O'Shea was able to get back into the zone, but number 22, crew lines, then shoots it down nice. And number 17, Jocelyn Palmer awaits behind the goalie of Melanie Hayden. Now Bridget O'Shea tried to get the puck away from her. 
down the ice. Goes to puck. Peyton Fuller, then skating to the Wild Wildcats fence on one skate. In serious pain after the puck went off her leg. But that's the end of the second. The penalty build, second period. And we will be right back after this. WCTV's coverage of Wildcats sports this winter season is sponsored by Analog Devices, proudly supporting the Wilmington community for over 40 years. Back here at Restusha, between Wildcats and the Brookline Warriors. Started the third period, game still tied at zero after a penalty filled second. And towards the end of the second, Number 10 for the Wildcats, Peyton Fuller, came off the ice, limping after taking a puck off the leg. Seems to be fine now. She's in the group of girls from the bench. So, probably just a quick little stinger. Hopefully that'll spark the team to really turn up offensively as they have really been shut down on offense. Yet in return, shut down. Brookline, who has had the puck for 15 plus minutes. At center ice, Kokudas taking the puck for the Wildcats. Wins the face off, but Brookline comes up with it. Into the Wildcat zone, number four, Willow Francis. Looks for stuff. Now number 17, Nina Luby had her shot knocked down by the glove. Wildcat player. And now there's a Wildcat down on the ice. Looks to be number nine, Maria Hernandez. Helped off DS by the trainer. Now we restart to third. Wildcats win the face off, but in their zone, lose control of the puck to Brookline. Number 17, Nina Luby, shot the puck down ice behind the goal. And there was a stoppage. Looks like the puck went out. 14-23 remaining. Wildcats. Now get the puck out of their zone. But it was hit back in for number 22. Alley crew lines. <coughs> now on the far boards. Number 23. Caitlin Hawley. Knocked down the Brookline defender. Now 21 Amanda Mercier. Had the puck for the Wildcats and shot down ice and into Brooklyn zone, Brookline zone. In the neutral zone, Molly Foley tried to get it back up ice, but it was intercepted by number 13, Casey Frigno. And into the corner near the Zamboni doors, Mercier. Lightly passed it along the boards where it was intercepted by Brookline. Now number three, Molly Foley. Tries to get it out of their zone. Did so, but the referee blew it off. Now the Wildcats have it coming up ice. 
Number 20, Gabriella Daniels. Races up ice behind the goal. Tries to get in front. And a puck just bounced away. Brookline again takes over on offense. And that's center ice. Number 18, Misha Okenyi had the puck. No, behind the goalie. Brookline comes back up with it. Tries to get it up ice, but it was knocked down by number 17, Jocelyn Palmer, in the neutral zone at center ice. Number 17, Nina Luby was able to get back into the Wildcat zone. Now Jocelyn Palmer, number 17, gets it across to number 10, Peyton Fuller. And came off the ice in pain at the end of the second. Brookline has it in their zone. Crosses the blue line. And at center ice goes number eight, Gabby Boyd. Her shot was knocked down. And again, a battle for the puck. Behind the goal, Wildcat goalie, Melanie Hayden. Well, Wilmington comes up with it. Number 25, Bridget O'Shea. Pass it up ice to number 10, Payne Fuller. O'Shea then gets it across ice to number 23, Gabri Caitlin Hawley. Now the Wildcats have it. Gabriela Daniels gets it back behind number 9, Maria Hernandez, who just was helped off the ice by the trainer and had the puck for a brief second. Now Molly Foley gets it across to number 16, Gina Bertolami, who chases after the Brookline player. Wildcats battle for possession. Number three, Molly Foley coming across ice to get the puck away from Brookline. And the whistle is blown, stopping play. Left and match remain in the third. Game still tied at zero. Wildcats looking for offensive power. Here's a shot because number 12, Ida Bishop, had a great look at the goal. Just missed a net. Now Brookline comes back up with it. That's center ice. Number seven, Anna Driscoll. Shoots it down ice behind the goal of the Wildcats. Molly Foley takes it in front of the net and tried to get it out, but it was intercepted by Brookline. Now Foley again. Losing control of the puck to Brookline. And Melanie Hayden could not stop the shot from number seven on a Driscoll. And just like that, Brookline takes the one nothing lead. 10 minutes remaining in the third. At center ice, number 23, Caitlin Holly takes the face off for the Wildcats, and the Wildcats take win. Number 21, Amanda Mercier shot the puck down ice, and icing was called. Wildcats win the face off. And that center ice goes Payton Fuller. Who gets it on goal. And it was gloved by number one, Caroline Davis. <coughs> Changes being made, both teams. Leo Curtis takes this shot. face off for the Wildcats. And a quick shot on goal by number 16, Gene Bertolami. But it was quickly stopped. 
by Davis. Again with the faceoff. Wildcats come up with it. And Bertolami tried to get another shot off, but it just went wide. Now Palmer has it. Tries to get a shot off and cannot. But at center ice, she recovers before Brookline, after Brookline stole it. Wildcats now take the puck back and along the boards. A battle for the puck. Still a battle for the puck. Virgil Shea chases after it. And now at center ice, Leah Curtis comes racing. But the puck was knocked away from her by number eight, Gabby Boyd. And a whistle is blown, signaling icing. <laughs> Nine minutes remain in the third. Brookline up one nothing after the goal by Anna Driscoll. Wildcats looking for offense. Number three, Molly Foley, slap shot. Knocked down by the glove of the goalie, Caroline Davis. And now Brookline comes back up with it. But at center ice, Molly Foley takes it and shoots it down. Behind the goalie. And icing is waved off. Brookline comes back up with it. Maria Hernandez. Pass it to number three, Molly Foley. Foley's pass up the ice to number seven, Tony Antonia Brunetto. It's no good. Now Bur Brookline comes back up with it in the Wildcat zone. Hernandez tries to get the shot up ice, but it was knocked down and out battle for the puck. Near the Shamrock sign. Wildcats come up with it. <coughs> Try to get out of the zone with number eight. Number nine, excuse me, Murray Hernandez. Now the puck is at center ice. Held by number six, Cassie Taranova. And now Wilmington has controlled the puck. Back into the Wildcat zone comes Brookline, number six, Cassie Taranova. And the whistle is blown as number three, Molly Foley. Slid into it, knocking it off the crease. Seven twenty six remain in the third. Wildcats now looking to tie the game after Brookline scored. Brookline comes up with the puck after the face off. The shot was knocked down by the glove of Melanie Hayden. And now racing for the puck. It's number 20, excuse me, number 16, Gina Bertolami. Brookline recovers and number 13, Casey Frigg now shoots back into the Wildcat zone. And Wildcats get it out. Now it's center ice is number two, Leah Curtis. Try to pass it back into the Brookline zone. <coughs> and puck just sat there as two players both fell. Now Balford puck in front of the scores. Box. Whistle is blown. And the face off will occur at center ice. Six thirty two remaining in the third. Goal scored by number seven on a Driscoll for Brookline. Taking the face off in number twenty, Gabriella Daniels for the Wildcats. But Brookline comes back up with it. In number seven, Anna Driscoll cannot handle the pass from number four, Willa Francis. Wildcats now recover. Number twenty, Gabriella Daniels. 
try to control the puck, but it was taken from her. Now Brooklyn has it in the Wildcat zone. Driscoll passes back to number 22. Crew lines, but center ice, and now in the Brooklyn zone. Wilmington has it. Number 18, Thoda so Rose's shot went just wide, and she was then knocked down by number seven on the Driscoll. <coughs> Wildcats still have control in the Brooklyn zone. Behind the net, battle for the puck, and the whistle is blown. <coughs> Face off in the Brookline zone. Leah Curtis taking the face off for the Wildcats. Wilmington tries to come up with it, does so. Joss Palmer's shot was taken, was stopped by number 12, Ida Bishop, her own teammate. And now it's center ice. Bishop takes the puck back, racing into the Brookline zone. Her shot was knocked away by the sick of the Brookline defender. Bridget O'Shea gets the puck behind the goal. And in front of the goal, now Joss Palmer, her shot, knocked away. Bridget O'Shea, her slap shot, bounced, and then it was intercepted by Brookline. Now Palmer takes the puck in the Wildcat zone, races around and along the boards, tries to get it around a Brookline player. But now Brookline recovers. Number 19, Olivia Boyd. Had controlled the puck, but the whistle was blown. Gabriella Daniels taking face off for the Wildcats. Brookline recovers and shoots it. Into the Wildcat zone behind the goal. Melanie Hayden. Molly Foley. Takes the puck for the Wildcats and passes it up ice towards Payne Fuller, who cannot handle the puck. Now Maria Hernandez. Passes it to the Brooklyn defender. And her shot was knocked away by the pad of Melanie Hayden. Now the Wildcats at center ice. Get the puck into the Brookline zone. Number 22, Alley Crew Lions. Passes it, cross ice. But Wildcats take the puck. Payne Fuller now races toward the goal. And the whistle is blown before the goalie could even make the save. Blowing the play dead. <coughs> Number 18, Zoda Rose. Try telling that to the referee who just shoot her away. Gerhardus takes the face off for the Wildcats. Quickly gets the shot off on goal, and it was knocked away. Now Ida Bishop gets it back down ice to Co Curtis. And the bow for the puck. Bridget O'Shea looking for the puck. Asking for it. But Brookline comes back up with it. It was 3.30 remaining in the third. Brookline losing control of the puck. But now in the Wildcat zone, number 13, Casey Frigno has her shot knocked down. And number 12, Ida Bishop tries to get the puck out of the zone does so. Now it's center ice. Gets it into the Brookline zone. And knocks it away from number 17. Nina Luby. Now racing for the puck with number 17, Joss Palmer. And number 13, Casey Frigno. And number 14, Kelly McNamara whiffed on the shot. But Brookline still has control of the puck. Now near the Zamboni doors, Ida Bishop Takes the puck, passes it along the boards to the Brookline player. But in front of the net, number 16, Gina Bertolami. Gets it out to number two, Leah Curtis. 
But Brookline's able to take the puck away from her. And now, number six, Cassie Terranova. Barrel number 17, Jocelyn Palmer for the puck, and Palmer comes up with it. Palmer gets the puck out to center ice, awaiting Ali Crew Lions. Crew Lions shot down the ice, knocked down by the glove of Jocelyn Palmer. And now number four, Willow Francis, takes the puck down ice, tried to pass it to number seven on Driscoll, who already has a goal in this game. But Driscoll cannot handle the puck. Number 18, Zoe DeRose. Came up with the puck for the Wildcats. And now into the Brookline zone. Goes the puck. At center ice, DeRose takes the puck into the Brookline zone. Races toward the net, but the puck was knocked away by number six, Kylie Flynn. Melanie Hayden looking for the signal from the coach to come to the bench, but had to be knocked back since the puck is going into her zone. <coughs> Hayden still looking to get off the ice, that, but at center ice, Brookline takes control, and Hayden had to retreat back to the goal. Now the Wildcats have it. Trying to get the puck into Brookline zone. There goes Hayden. Now Wildcats have six players on the ice in an empty net. And here comes Brookline number 14, Kelsey McNamara. Her shot just wide. 30 seconds to remain in the game. Wildcats looking for any offensive power. Down the ice, the puck goes. Brookline will recover with 15 seconds. Along the boards, battle for the puck. Wildcats come up with it for Curtis' shot. Just wide at the net. Brookline has it. Gets it out to number 17. Jocelyn Palmer, her shot went wide. But the horn sounds. And the Wildcats lose a close game to Brookline. one nothing. Brookline's only goal was scored by Anna Driscoll. And that does it. For WCTV, I'm Sean Guiney. Thank you for watching today's game. Brookline wins 1-0 over the Wildcats.